एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन माय चैनल टुडे बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई विश यू एंड योर फैमिली अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो इन ईयर 2022 व्हिच आई एम क्रिएटिंग ऑन अ न्यू रिलीज ऑफ सर्विस नाउ नेम्ड एज सैन डिएगो सैन डिएगो हैज बीन लॉन्च एज अ अर्ली बर्ड अर्ली एक्सेस ऑन द पीडीआई इटसेल्फ and many new feature has been introduced in san diego so let's take on the tour of san diego if you like my video please leave a comment share with your friends and colleagues so that everyone can understand everyone can see about what's new in san diego so now before i start the san diego let's have a quick look on the service now version history so service now started its releases in summer 2007 i can say in 2007 with the name of summer fall summer winter spring fall winter so from 2007 till 2011 they have launched their releases in the name of the weathers summer fall winter spring and all the things will be there then from 2012 they started with spn then berlin calgary dublin we i'm sure that many of us is already start is using service now from calgary onwards or maybe some of them is definitely from summer as well i know few people are there so september 2021 service now launch the last latest release officially is called roam for everyone and now a two days back they released the early access of san diego on the pdi so this screen this this screenshot can display you that what are the com- upcoming path of service now up to 2024 we are on the san diego as per service now websites ever service now documents the it will be available for general public or the customers in the last quarter 1 2022 so let's see how it's go for everyone before that let's let's take it kick on on the new feature has been added by service now so service now added approximately 17 to 16 new feature which i am able to understand and able to put in front of you now so these are the highlights on the top we'll see in the particular instance as well. so let's take back to our instance quickly and we'll go here so this is my instance of the service now let me show you that i am on the version of San Diego you can see I'm on the San Diego I updated this on yesterday itself it is on the patch 0 hotfix 1 this is my instance name so now the first point which i mentioned that show password on the login page this has been which i notice in in this San Diego that there's a launch it something new let me log out and show you something here if i log out here you can see now you can see this i view to see the password as well which has been introduced newly in service now at point of time and what i also think that they made they change the text of this as well earlier it was three to four lines but now service now just keep it only for the one line which includes their products specifically on the it hr facility field service management and here they give a link for the service now.com now let login into the screen now on the instance now and i come to second part set password user profile this is the one of the toughest part which is be which is be given uh, uh, to the server desk always in case you want to get a new user you have to be create the password for the same so let's go here and i click create a user new new user account here let me quick click click here i click on the new and i'll put it here a username as like i can say test 1 2 3 test and just click on the save button here so now you can see i am getting a set password functionality available here what this do basically instead of you are be writing see you now you are not getting any option to generate the password it means you just click on the set password here what it will do it will open a pop up like this and you can click on the generate here when you click on the generate it will generate a password for this is the password and you can click on this i view to see that what is the password of this user and then you can you can copy paste that and you can send it to the user easily very easily so like let me click again here and here by this you can copy and let me paste to the notepad so this is the password i can go and share with my customer or the user by which he can do that part and click on the save password here i identify one thing that this is not be required that every time this is a lengthy password maybe we can try to generate again or maybe i can say let close this window and set a password again and click on the generate here and now you can see 
this is the less one so this is there's a no there's a this is there's a no limitation i can say I, as of now in send it was been mentioned that it is how much length it will be there you can see it's very big as well and you can see it's very small as well so that is the first second feature which i like in service now that the task of survey does to generate the random password has been over and they can use the set password into the system that is very good thank you so much service now for introducing that that part now every time when when any version has been released everybody's bother or everybody not as a bother basically everybody is interested to see that how the look and feel has been changed and this is the one of the biggest feature which service now introduced with a name called the next experience so what is the next experience here so to do that part you can see here now that on 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 my on my on my instance you can see that what is the look and feel is you are able to see here simple normal we know that we are using this kind of front end for a long time even though service now still have ui 15 and ui 16 as well and on the top of that what they did they introduced a new system property i'll put it the system underscore properties dot list and the property name is called the ending with polaris dot experience p o l a r i s dot experience you have to be go here and make this property as a true i putting as a true here once i done that part so what will be the it will it will enable the unified navigation experience so they give it a, they give us this a new name that's called the unified navigation uh, experience here on the platform part now what i will do just to show you that part let me go here because due to this property number of changes has been done so number one let log out from the screen here and let's log in again and see that what magic service now give in the in that user experience so number one point you can see that screen has been changed it has some gif part you can see i am just moving my mouse and this this dots are moving it is able to show my banner image as well that is another important point a small window has been reduced here which we can see and now i click on the login here when i click on the login here definitely i am going to be enter into the new era of service now user interface i love this because it is always said that service now is a user friendly i will not say it's a tool it's a application it's a framework i don't know that what need to what i should call it here but it's a good thing for everyone so now you can see the front end has been completely changed what has been changed number 1 banner frame no change is there definitely you can see here on the all the your your filtration has been come on the top and you can click here number 1 so you can see all the things they are you can see here by this particular things so the navigation which we have in the right side sorry in the in the left side now has been come on the top favorites click on this you can see on that favorites you can unpin as well from the menu you can see the history here which is available in this particular box in the right, left side on the top and you can see the different workspace i have the two workspace cmdb and the agent workspace let me show you the base agent workspace as well in the other window and the cmdb as well now if i go here you can see the profile it's showing as the unknown user i have literally no idea i try to find out that why it's not taking my name as a user here so now you can see profile here let me click on my profile and see what is wrong here so it's not showing any record let me check that i am which particular maybe this account does not exist in this particular profile or i am in the wrong application at point of time now let me click on the preferences a beautiful changes has been done by service now three multiple options display it can make a changes on your display part specifically user compact display sync you want to open the list on the form things there's a no changes has been done on the options the changes has been done only in the interface organize selection into the tabs format put the line breaks in the list you can set the date format like this to be understand you can say that navigation should be on help text help tips on the form user compact spacing things are there now if i click on the back option here accessibility beautifully a boxes are there and you can see that color charts replacements are there so we can we will see these things little little later now i'll go back here notification same concept show banner if you click want to show the banners you can put it otherwise you can make it as off as well core ui you can see here specifically on your notification part you can you can check here okay so this this is the things which has been which has been changed let me go back here and click on the show banner show badge count i'm not sure that what it's be showing basically it be showing this count here definitely 
so you can on and off if required that is a, another beautiful change has been done here another important point which i did not able to find maybe the reason can be because i i am not able to find the impersonate user here impersonation point here maybe due to my profile is not be working properly or some other reason can be there so now let's go to the agent workspace a beautifully agent workspace has been designed here if you can open incidents you can see your things colors has been changed try to make it little more compact a user friendly that is the only thing which has been done here cmdb view you can see here a different cmdb view is available with a different kind of things mainly we find these kind of icons during the during our pa parts of the reports are not available but something similar is given to the from the user perspective here now these are the main things on the agent perspective let me go back here and try to open the incident module here let me put the open here if i want to see all the incidents this is one of the thing which has been shown in the webinar as well so now you can see number one point new button has been moved from left to right a major change nlq was already there it has been all now as well you can see that under which tab you are there and which is the module you are putting here so you can see here global search is still available that is the one thing you can see okay this is a this is a good point you can see that you can see your application globe scoping and update sets from here itself now you can go and see if i click on one the complete line will be becoming a blue here so these are the few changes has been introduced by service now as a part of this particular things now if i go here you can see the same thing something look like they are trying to be copy uh, not i learned to the copy basically they taking they are taking the ideas from from the macbook or that particular perspective now right click are available here as well the same per perspective nothing must must um, uh, nothing else has been changed here now i can say a beautifully designed platform is there additional actions which you are putting here are be on instead of the lower side they on the top as well top only at the right side only so you can see some some saving they have done from the spacing part personalized list has been earlier it was be there now they have moved to the this particular part so these are the few changes has been done by service now as part of the navigation and the list view and the login page which we see just now now what i'll do i'm not say that i'm not liking it but definitely it, it take little time to be get familiar with this particular uh uh interface i can say because now let let go back to the false here and i'll be login again so that i can be login with my id only if you're watching my if you're watching my video just let me know that why it's showing as you you unknown user instead of my user only okay let me log out from here now <clears throat> and now i'll be login again back to my original login with uh, without any any navigation or i can say new experience here let me click on the next here let go what service now give to us they give us the specifically from the flow diagram a beautiful thing from the process perspective if you are a process consultant you are a process manager definitely it will work for you so now what we have to do there is an let me open the workflow here okay so it's let me show the flow editor here flow designer let me open it here just quickly to show you that part what changes have they done that if i show you something in x y z you not able to understand but if you want to understand that how a process has been defined in a picture in the process flow in the flow chart format then definitely this option is a very good has been given by service now so you can see here this option view option is there if i click on this i can get this approval or not approval basically this workflow into the format of the flow chart itself which is easy to understand which is easy to optimize if required so this is one of the thing which i can say has been given by service now for people like me who are in the consulting who know that how the process is working but it is tough to understand from the coding perspective so you can see this concept has been there so this is a part of the flow design you can see a flow diagram here and one more thing what they say that they are using this particular options for drag and for move, movement of this thing so i there is a tool called the mural is there which has this functionality so you can now click on this and you can expand it like this instead of going this and this expanding it you can do the expansion by like this and you can verify part i'm i'm still not be not be comfortable not know that is this process can be downloaded somewhere or not but beautiful part which i which i like in this in this particular thing is let me optimize this if you want to do any addition on this flow 
you can do as well. If I click on the plus, I can add action flow logic or soft flow. So now if I say instead of going on this portion, if you are not able to understand, if you are not able to work on that part, better you go here and click on the multiple things. You can add action, you can add the flow logic, you can add the soft flow as much required as you can do. This is a very beautiful thing. Thank you so much once again, service now for that. After that, what they added in this called the try and catch. You can see here. So now earlier they in, in the last release in the room release service now introduce specifically on the on the error handler, but now they introduce on the try and catch block as well. So let me go on this particular part and let me see if I want to be add any new uh, I can say action here. So what I can do, let me click here and let me sorry let me go here in that uh, let me see I put the flow logic here I put the try so you can see try block is there it means if you want to test your workflow that try and something you can catch it if error occur after step 5 because I added in step 5 after this step 5 only so you can catch it here then what action you want to do you can put it that is the another good beautiful concept of the oops I can say because in C, C++ we are using this this concept of try catch block they introduce it here thank you so much for that now at the and the next part that is called the error handlers are there so they introduce three type of new error handlers you can click here and you can see that you can they can make a new one that is called the wait for a duration of time if you want to you wait it for some time in your in your error maybe after five minutes go and try to pop pop that particular server and get to file file then you can do that part so you can put the wait for condition has expectedly hours minutes seconds you can do that part I, other than this they introduce uh let me put it here just to show flow logic this is the one thing which they have and they edit the set flow variables as well what they what they did and the dynamic workflow you can add on the run and on the workflow from that particular perspective so these three specifically which which i just pick up here flow diagram try catch and error handlers they have introduced in the workflow designers part specifically and it is very good to be used specifically from the i can say from from the perspective of a developer these are the good things has been introduced except flow diagram is useful for people like me and you are the working the operations perspective now i come to the nlq cmdb so what they have done now if i go here and pick up the server class and i want to write any english normal english language if i say let me put this all here so now you can see this has been introduced newly into into the cmdb level by service now in the san diego so now you can do and you can write your 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 queries very simple simple manner i can say class is linux so i can put instead of going and searching it somewhere so this is the another layman language i can say again this option is good for the consulting perspective from the cmdb perspective who who want to search it quickly they can go and make it the use of this so this is the only one change they have done in the cmdb perspective as of now which i which i came to know from this particular uh, feature releases now the next one what they have done integration file upload so earlier integration was not be done via any file upload but they have introduced this option in the integration hub so i can go and i can click on the integration hub imports when i open this let me show you so when i open this i'm getting and now i'm getting an option to make an integration via my excel sheets as well it the concepts it looks similar as per the transfer map where we do the complete mapping so you can see i i click here and i can put a name here learn and grow lng i called it lng and click on the save and continue now if i want to be import something i can put on the file and i can see the excel file is there so it will ask me for the for the path in my system that is the one thing and then you can mention that which sheet number and which header row you can skip and you can start your integration that part so another one thing instead of doing any any kind of authentication you can do via the excel sheets as well and that will work for you another good thing has been introduced by service now in san diego 
Now I come to the form builder and the layout. I try to do this this particular thing from from uh, my custom apps, but some some way I'm not able to do that completely. But what I understood here is that specifically, if I go here and open any incident, I'm just showing on the incident because it is it is easy to be to be show uh, or understand on the incident perspective. Let me open an incident here. <clears throat> Now, if I go here and I click on the configure form design here, let me just make it as a not compact because I don't like the compact interface. I like little bit big phones here. Yeah. So now you can see here if I if I click here, I can see the complete way that how this has been defined. So this is the one of the good thing which has been introduced here in the in the form builder. What service now introduced specifically? And I can say in in the um, if I say as the category is already there, so I, I can show you one screenshot which I will do take it from the from other perspective. So you can see here that e this screenshot I taken from the custom app where if I put this category as a field, I can see the options on the right side. It means now is no need to be go to the dictionary level dictionary level and make a make a changes. You can make changes from here itself only which I'm not, not able to do by some reason but this is a one thing which has been given by service now again few changes has been done by service now only and only from the user interface perspective so this one form builder form layout which we see from the global apps I can I show you here something newly introduced by service now which is actually good for the everyone now I come to the order guide sequential another a good option has been given by service now what it contains basically it it is able to set the sequencing of your RITMs in your order guide what is required it is a plugin called the order guide sequential you have to be install that plugin in your in your instances then you can do the sequencing here it is it is again good part given by service now let me open the order guide here and if i click on the new hire now you can see here because I already done this this uh, this uh, what I can say ordering for this so I'm not able to do I'm not able to find the uh, this option that order sequence order here but if you want to see the current sequence you can click on this part so it means you can generate the sequence only once on an order guide and post that you have to be click on this and then you can see the sequence of the they want this thing. So now in another important point which you can see on my screen is that this has been opened in the process automation designer of uh, another a uh, good thing because this is something newly introduced by service now in the San Diego again a plugin is required called the process De automation designer by which you can design the lanes as well. So now suppose I want to make a order guide for product order till the product delivery. So I can do this thing. Beautiful part drag and drop. And I again say say my hundred cents on the service now to making this very beautifully because now you can define that what is the lane means if I can say pre order I can say okay so it's so it's look like that you are doing the designing automation now see you can see it's a process automation designer so now by the, doing this plugin you can make your designs automatic and you can see that in which sequence they should be done so three then this two then this three and it will be activated for you but the only thing which is be required here is that you have to be installed the plugin for the same now i come to the pad pad stand for the process automation design which you can see here again a plugin is required i can show you here process automation design you can see here if I click on this, I can create a new process design for me. So now you can see this LNG is my custom app for which I am using that part. So let, let me show you something here. Go to home screen here or maybe I can open the app engine studio. App Engine Studio. Let me show you something quickly here. You can use this this pad option either from the custom app itself or you can use this pad option via the this particular thing. So now you can see that I have a number of applications available. If I click on any of the application, go to the automation. Here I should get an option called the 
pad but somehow it is not available where i i try to find out because in the san diego they introduced two new functionality on this area number one they introduced is the pad that is process automation design and they introduced introduce the decision um process as well for the both you need the plugin once you done that part you can see able but the decision uh, plugin uh, will not work here because that particular plugin is available on the store and not available for the pdis as of now not i'm not sure that when it will be there but on the high level part you can try to install that part if you want to use the pad go here and now if i say of this part so now if i want to create a new process i can put it here my my hair name let me say i put yellow yellow and here i can see my application if i put here as a uh, yellow i can take it or maybe if we want to put something on the incident on the atp because this is a scoping part this work only the scoping parts mainly so i put my application sorry it work on the global as well i can say sorry global as well and selected trigger which trigger you want to put you can put it here update record insert something like that so in short if i say service now is changing the way of use the tool and it is the line of service now which i like that you the tool should work the way you want not the way it has been uh, arranged and you are be using the same manner so you can do this thing at your at pad is one of the good option for the process designers they can design, create the process here more information you can get uh, you can go on to the uh, what i can say uh, service now docu uh, documents and then you can find out let me try to find out incident table something if i can't find out okay nothing is there let me pick up any of the my table lng best 7 and go to the designer it means here i am putting the basically configurations that how and when the new process should be used. and again i am here in the same part so i can design my processes by this manner as well so if i say till rome we have only the flow designer but now we have the process automation designer as well things are same click on this process activity you can define that what process you want to be in an update record create record send email things are similar but <coughs> the way of working has been defined little bit change here so this is another feature has been introduced by service now here now i come to this one another good point on the atf perspective let me take you on the atf part in the atf the one point which which was not available is because when we execute any test we cannot pause it for some time to analyze that thing which has been introduced by service now now into the into the uh, san diego so what i did i created one of my test case here just a one 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 test case i'm not sure that it will work properly or not uh, like this my test i can put it here so now what what you can do okay it's a new application okay so now i'll i'll getting a option here number 1 which i i'm saying here you can see atf breakpoint so basically if you if you saw my my video on the process uh, optimization part where i put the breakpoints the same thing has been applicable here if you want to see your uh, i can say uh, your your test execution by by putting the breaks in between then you can use the breakpoint there is no new or edit button here what you have to do go here right click and add a breakpoint if i click on add here it become red dot number 1 it's saying that it is not allowed because maybe i don't have access for that particular things and other thing is that debug test is available here so if i click on the debug test it means now i can pause my test before it go for the rollback this is one of one of the beautiful feature from the at perspective because whenever we run a test service now take it quickly back now you can pause your roll back as well and you can analyze your test that why it has been failing what value it has been setting this is very good in case of the client side script scripting so the client side actions are required let me click on the run test if i click on the run test my test has been started here and if i show you here if i can get that option okay i'm not getting any any option because it is just on the one point here yes you can see a step over so this particular option help you for the break points as well so you can see pause at break point 10 minutes remaining this is the one of the thing which has been done it means up to this time you can go and check your results you can check your verify your testing 
and then you can proceed further and post that. If I say yes, I done my part. Step over. I click on the step over. It means it changes to the next part and my ATF has been or my testing has been successfully completed here. So this is a one of the thing has been introduced by service now. Good from the ATF perspective. That is I I literally like it very much. Now I come to the last point over here for the MFA. So we done with the breakpoint and we done with the part here. Once again, I'm just telling, uh, showing you here. You can see here step over and I can say the cancel the pending part. So if, if you want to make it, yes, I want to sh uh, stop it here. If you want to make it a test point, you can go here. Let me, let me show you something on the, uh, assignment, which I just tried to copy paste it from the previous one. This one I created just to show you that how you can create, I click on the here so that I can show you because this contain a lot of, lot of steps here. So you can see it easily, very easily. So now once this load test has been done, so you can see I have the three breakpoints available record update set value. And if you want to put more breakpoints, you can just go and right click and put it like this. Once only at a, at a given time, you can do only, only one, not, not multiple. You can do so the four are there. If I click on the debug test here, I can see the pause before rollback. Very good. I click here, run test. It will start my text execution and on the breakpoints, it will be stop. And so that I can make a test check here. So you can see step or execute the next step. If you think, yes, you're done with the rollback, you're, you're done with test uh, proper uh, examination. You can say test over. Otherwise after nine minutes, it will move forward. Another good thing given by service now. Now I come to the, this point, basically last point is there that is called the MFA SS. So now service now has introduced the multi-factor authentication for the SSO as well. So what you can do, just go to the MFA properties and you can enable it for the SSO as well. So this is a newly has been added newly, newly functionality has been added by service now into the San Diego. So this is all about from the San Diego, from my perspective, guys, thank you so much. If you like this video, if you think that it is a good, it's a good video, please like it, give some comments, share with your friends and uh, friends and colleagues so that everybody can learn about San Diego. Definitely I'll come back with some more features sooner. It will be available on the PDI and we'll do more R and D on that part till that time. Thank you so much. Take care guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.